bitter rivalry between the two rugby codes, the first ever clash between league and union under rugby league rules. We've had a couple of matches under union rules as fundraising ventures for the armed service charities in the 40s, but never with 13 players. Martin O'Fire here obviously relished this occasion at uh, Main Road. And Main Road is an appropriate venue for a game of this type. This crown has welcomed the All Blacks, the Springboks, now Bath Rugby Union game for the clash of the two codes champions. The Bath though, no lineouts, no rooks, no malls, and that Eddie will present them with a few problems. It will indeed, in a hundred years, the two games have uh, gone a long way apart. And it's not so much the big things, the, the different laws, it's the little things, it's the uh, where to stand, it's which angles to run. And I just think the sense of having to retire 10 metres at the tackle instead of piling into the ruck and wall, which will really undo Bath tonight. Wigan boss Graham West has made no concessions to the rugby league novices. He names a full-strength side with Martin of Fire returning to action for the first time since breaking a small bone in the middle of his back a month ago. And Twigham Aller and Connolly will certainly provide a threat in midfield. Bath coach Brian Ashton includes three flankers in his pack, Jomo, Vander and Robinson, in an attempt to cope with the pace of league forward play. And in the absence of both Dawn French and Hooker, he gambles with a scrum half, Ian Saunders. A daunting task for that lad. John Callard to start this historic clash. And it's uh, Binga to Wingamara. Wigan uh, number three centre into action straight away. But uh, the team's called back because, of course, the ball didn't go the statutory 10 metres. And Wigan driving at the very heart of this uh, back defence already. Edwards to Paul. He's got space and Connolly on the outside. Wedlinski, the fire's in at the corner. No, he's not. He put a foot in touch. Bather saved at the corner. Jason Robinson beats one man, two man. He's like an electric eel, this lad. Difficult to put down. I think this is where one of Bath's problems will be. The 10 metres up and down, up and down in the six tackle sequence. It's the one-on-one -on -one situation that Rugby Union has lost the art of doing a one-on-one. -on -one. And here is Martin of Fire with one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, he goes round at the corner there. Superb try from Martin of Fire, a former Rugby Union star with Roslyn Park. Came into league in 1987 and has been the, the game's top try scorer ever since. Number five, Martin Afire. Chris Redlinski, he's got a fire. In, oh, he's bringing a fire inside of the fire. Coming to again. Oh, and a fire through for his second try of the night. The blistering pace on the outside, thoroughly confusing the, the Bath uh, defence. Edwards calling the tune here. Farrell, good dummy. Again, good tackle there on that outside by Lumsden. But still, the pressure on the Rugby Union champions. Edwards, good long pull, Henry Paul stepped inside, that'll be a try. Fraser Waters came up too quickly. Well, it's a walk-in. But it's still Wigan, 10 metres from this, uh, this bat line. Cowie probing now, pressing, driving in. Good defence there. Martin Hall to Paul. Edwards, he's got men outside. Good wide pass here, flicked on to Robinson. Robinson leaves the ball, oh, he leaves the ball floundering. Ajomo looks at his colleagues and says, what's going on? One on one, and it doesn't matter if the ball comes to him when he's standing still, it's just the ability to beat a man in that very confined space, and it's an art rugby union has basically lost. Edwards, looking for support, he finds it in O'Connor. O'Connor is over at the corner there. Big, powerful prop forward, Terry O'Connor. Very mobile lad for 16 stones. 
It's all about timing in rugby league. Forwards running onto the ball at the right time. O'Connor does that. Trigamala having a go himself. Face inside pass there to Edwards, to Connolly. Wigan keeping this ball moving. Martin Hall on the fifth tackle. Edwards, will he kick? No, he puts a lovely short, neat pass through to the Wigan substitute. Johnson, and it's another try. A lot of Bath players, a lot of blue shirts coming back for the kick there. And of course, that breaks the line and opens it all up. And there is Scott Quinnell, the man who's just a finder for Richmond in a £300,000 deal. Delighted by that try and showing what we were missing at Central Park, but what will be down there at Richmond. Bath then using the forwards here, trying to punch a hole or two into the heart of the Wigan. My cat going himself, almost through. In those confined spaces, Bath lost it. Just couldn't take that final pass. Wigan then edging nearer to that Bath line. Good pass. Murdoch's in. Two or three of the Bath defenders drawn in there. And Craig Murdoch, a young signing from Cumbria, scores the try. Quinnell trying a burst now and goes straight through, gets it to a final, fire goes away. Lumsden beaten completely, but it was that drive from Scott Quinnell that caused the problems. Racing through, he smashed the bath barrier and a fire was on hand. And when that man has a glimpse of the try line, there's no touching him. A hat trick here. Well, I reckon this would be a deadly combination in any, in any form. Scott Quinnell on the charge and Martin Afaya in close support, offloading out of the tackle, and then really the one-on-one, -on -one, a, a brush off rather than a handoff, and uh, it's one of the finest sights in any form of sport. Connolly to Edwards. Edwards bringing Quinnell, charging it again through Redmond. Quinnell enjoying himself here. Just three metres from the back line. O'Connor, he's in there again for the try. Brave tackling there by the Bath uh, defence, but they couldn't halt the big, powerful Wigan uh, prop forward. His second try of the evening, Terry O'Connor. Bath really driving for all they're worth now with this Wigan line. Cat, short pass. Roars of Wigan, Wigan running around the terraces, is back with the try! Yes! And it's number 16, John Card. He scored 280 points in Bath's Cup and League season last year, but I'm sure he'll treasure those four points for a long time to come. Murdoch trying to get that pass away, but was picked up well by Cat. It's to Quinnell now. Another six tackles. The ball coming off a of Bath third player. Sean Edwards puts a pass out, looks suspiciously, a forward pass as Mick Cassidy strolls in. He cut three or four Bath third forwards out, notably McCarthy and uh, Redmond. Looks suspiciously forward, but not so, says the referee, Russell Smith. It's wonderful, isn't it? Bath suddenly seeming to cope with the physical aspects, and all of a sudden, Sean Edwards produces a pass like that and unstitches them on the wide outside. It's like the variety of this game. Edwards, good switch again to Quinnell. Oh, Quinnell using a sidestep. Now then, showing his pace. Driving to the line, but good tackle again by Mike Cat. He tracked him all the way. But it's Wigan forcing a bath on the back, and it's that man Edwards again. And I think for the first time, actually takes a tackle at it. Yep. Chris Radlinski comes up from the full back. Again, that long pass to a fire. Will he win for the fourth? Yes, he does. Oh, is he going to be ruling to touch? Mr. Smith is just having a word with the touch judge. Well, he's calling for the. Uh, Third judge who sits in the grandstand 
at rugby league these days and who watches the uh, the movements is it a try it's close oh i think he gets it down try, try. that looks a try to me redlinski coming from fullback oh tremendous play back inside to murder murder going for the line but an excellent tackle there superb effort there from callard again Twingamala on the outside, cutting inside himself. Crash all beautiful pass, one handed inside to Murdoch. This is classical Wigan stuff. Connolly, he's got a fire outside again. The fire's going in the corner. Oh, he's in again. Martin on fire. He's there at the corner. But the referee, Russell Smith, is calling for the video screen judge. Well, I don't think there's any need for it. I reckon this is a try. Yeah. Yes, no problem. It's a try. No one taking it easy out there. Johnson, he's got through. Oh, he's all the way. Andy Johnson. But a try under the posts. A slip in midfield and his second try of the night. What a night for the Wigan youngster. Well, most tries have come through Bath not knowing what to defend. And here it's simply a, a question of a player going through tackles. John Edwards tries a kick this time for a fire. What a fire comes off his right. Can he get the ball inside? He does to Robinson. He dances one way and cuts inside. And leaves two Bath defenders on the floor. At least two. Here we see Edwards. Precision kick. Picked up by a fire. He just holds off Slaytom. Slaytom's in there again, clinging for dear life. Robinson, one way, the other way. That's right. And I'm sure that these... Uh, the Union lads will have a much greater awareness of the complexities of league. Of putting in an attack in the closing minute of this match. On the fifth tackle. Perhaps it needs a little grubber kick to break down this Wigan defence. There is a little chip kick from Callard. Too hard, too strong. But well intended. Callard realising, I think, Eddie, that uh, he wasn't going to pierce that uh, Wigan defence. No, the kick was on, over hit. So, Wigan looking for a final flourish. Murdoch. Launches to Ingamala. Bath, I'm sure, waiting for the whistle there now. That's a long kick and a chase to Martin of Fire. Is Martin of Fire going in for the sixth? He is! Oh, Martin of Fire jumps high in the air. He's been out of action for a month. But the world's most prolific try scorer in either code of rugby is back. With a bang. Six tries tonight. He must think it's his birthday. So there is the Hooter. Wigan successful in this first intercode battle. 82 points to six, but I'm sure that Bath will be looking for revenge when they move on to Twickenham for that return match under rugby union laws in two weeks' time. It will be so their chance to teach Wigan a lesson, or will it, Eddie? Well, I think Bath will win, but I can't see them overhauling a 76-point deficit. I think Wigan have got too much now, and, uh, you know, if you're stopping a rolling mall and stopping people rucking, it's easier than stopping these, these fantastic designs that uh, Wigan achieve on a rugby league field. I think it's an exercise in... Um, in bringing the codes together, but I think it shows that when it comes to entertainment and professional skills, Wigan are miles ahead. Nicely back, easy as that, a cool six.
Yeah, can't complain. Uh, probably not as sharp as I could have been first game in about a month and a half, but uh, 